And our boys get a hat trick from Sam Callich and record a 6-0 win over visiting Riverside on Saturday afternoon in the regular season finale and also the Cardinals kick for the cure match. Really no need to go on a diatribe here, folks. Uh, just a thorough and dominant performance here from the Cardinals. I had them for 22 shots on target, 11 corners, and compared to when I saw them a few weeks ago in Hunting Valley against U.S., the, the service intent was a lot better. The runs off the ball were a lot better. It's a side that's finding its form in the attack at the perfect time going right into the postseason here. I, I thought uh, Kalich had a nice match, opened it up with a nice glancing header uh, for his opener, and then a uh, nice near post finish for a second goal before halftime, and then is able to uh, round out his uh, hat trick there after halftime. It just dominant all the way around. I thought Jake Malakar had a nice match. Uh, Michael Nadzum had a, a nice opening 40. Isaiah Brown had a good match. I mean, geez, when you record 22 shots on target for crying out loud, pretty much everyone plays well uh, in the attack. But between that uh, 3-0 win over NDCL and uh, the 6-0 win over Riverside, I get it because I've, I've been in the same boat. 5-9-2 and two, I've had a hard time figuring out this Menor side uh, for large stretches of the season, but I really and truly believe this is a side that's starting to find itself and find its form in the offensive third. They're playing the way that Mike wants them to play with good, quick combination play, intent in service, uh, acting instinctively, uh, not forcing the issue, just finding a good rhythm in the offensive third. And, you know, with this uh, D1 district mix, who knows? Uh, Mayfield has had large stretches of good form this year, but they've had stretches like that Sullen match I saw uh, recently that just wasn't very good, but obviously they're deservedly, deservedly the number one seed in this district. Uh, Lake Catholic has been playing better. Menor is playing better. U.S. with uh, Griffin and Anea will always be a threat in this bracket. It could be one of those on any given match day kind of deals in this district. And Menor could certainly factor in if they're starting to find their form here at the opportune time. Uh, with Riverside, it was just a tough deal all the way around. Uh, they could not possess at all in the opening 40. They had some moments here and there with uh, counter play and direct play, but unfortunately I had the Beavers for no shots on target in this match. There were times where the ball winning was okay. I thought Sam Amato had a nice opening 40, but really overall for Riverside, this is just one of those file it and forget it kind of matches. I mean, when you yield 22 shots on target and 11 corners, you just want to move on and uh, get to the postseason. Hopefully they can play a little bit better there, but very pleasing for Menor. I think uh, they're starting to find their identity here in the attack. Uh, the one nitpick that I had was the defensive third communication could have been a little bit better on a couple of instances there in that opening 40. But again, it's a side that is clearly finding itself, and that's always good to see, and it makes that D1 district mix uh, all the more interesting. And Menor could certainly be a factor on in that if they're firing on all cylinders the way they were in, in this match, certainly a 6-0 route of visiting Riverside on Saturday.